Brussels, Belgium, July 9, 2024. The weather service issued an orange warning for thunderstorms and flooding in several provinces in Belgium on Tuesday. The Brussels region was affected and has just experienced its first heavy rain. Wind gusts of 102 km per hour were even observed in Yakul and several other places in the capital, meteorologists said. The rain that fell on Tuesday, July 9, 2024, around 4 p.m. caused flooding in various places in Brussels, including streets and tunnels. In just a few minutes, liters of water flowed into the capital. In many places, gutters failed to absorb that much rainwater in a short time. At the Schumann roundabout in Etterbeek, the road has been turned into a swimming pool, while several streets in Brussels have turned into rivers. The Loy Tunnel was also flooded and the Port de Hal Tunnel was closed to traffic, causing significant traffic disruption. In another tunnel in the capital, the situation was so bad, cars were stuck right in the middle, with water reaching the hood, as reported by police control alerts. The exterior stairs of Steigenberger's hotel in Ixels are also no. underwater. By around 5 p.m., Brussels firefighters had counted 80 interventions. This especially occurs on flooded roads or fallen trees or branches on roads and parked vehicles. The storm also caused trees to fall, disrupting train traffic on Tuesday evening. The same thing happened in Etterby, the tree was evacuated, but trains currently only operate on two lines between Brussels and Ottinies. Other flooding disrupted traffic between Husingen and Beersel, the junction near Linkerbeek and Hal, and between Holliken and Nivelles. Calm returned to the Brussels skies fairly quickly for a few hours, but around 7 p.m., it started raining again in the capital. This heavy rain was not without consequences as it caused flooding on the streets of Brussels. Therefore, some roads were closed to traffic. This happened on Rue Belliard in Etterbeek. The Bailey Tunnel was closed in both directions and the Port de Halle Tunnel was closed in the direction of the Basilica. According to information from the Brussels Fire Brigade, the latest report shows 150 interventions pending. Currently, there are 22 interventions underway, including one intervention in the flooded Loy Tunnel. Brussels Environment has announced the closure of parks, nature reserves and regional forests, including Swans Forest, from 5 p.m., Tuesday, until Wednesday morning. In Etterbeek, a tree has been removed from the tracks, but train traffic between Brussels and Ottinies is still disrupted. 
The public transport company said it was monitoring the situation closely. Before Brussels, this disaster hit Hainaut and Walloon Brabant. A small tornado caused the downfall of several trees on the N6 and N57 between Swanies and Brain Le Comte, RTL announced. The storm is now heading towards the north of the country. Thank you for watching to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel because I will give you the information about the natural disaster around the world every day. That is a tree of mango. It is the process of felling trees because they are touch the power lines. Okay, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.